The scene you're about to see involves a police report of an alien sighting. It is a dramatization of real events. Well, kind of. Hi, Miss Lawrence. I'm just here to try and help you identify this alien you saw, okay? Now, look anything like this? No, it's not him. No. Okay. How about this one here? No, that's not him. I told you. The one that I saw had a big old, old uh, pudgy belly and, and a head too big for his body and a, a large protruding chin. <laughs> Where did you see this one? Right here at the studio. He, he transports himself around in strange vehicles. <sighs> well, I only have one more. How about this one? That's him! That's him! <laughs> Miss Lawrence, that's Jay Leno. He works here at NBC, makes millions of dollars. No kidding. Yeah. I need to speak to my attorney. Why? You uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yes, I have. I'm working for Group W. 39 weeks a year and all I can eat. What do you mean? By the way, do you also handle alien abductions? There's money in it. I, I think you need to look into this one. One minute he was there and the next minute... <laughs> who would know? Today we are going <coughs> going to explore something that we've all God that stuff tastes awful. We're good that we've all thought about. Is there life in space? And if so, have they visited Earth? And we're going to talk about it with some of your favorite science fiction stars, including two of the original Star Trek crew members. Scotty and Chekhov will be here, better known as James Doohan and Walter Koenig. And we're going to meet the scientist who was the model for the expert in Close Encounters. Plus, we'll talk with a couple of people who claim to have actually had alien experiences. Right now, I would like you to meet two stars who happen to believe that there are other life forms out there. First uh, is one of the stars of Star Trek, the next generation where she plays half human and half betazoid, Counselor Troy. Please welcome Marina Sirtis. Are you okay? Yeah, new we're, shoes. We're going to get you a stunt double. Thank you. No, I do oh. my own stunts. Go over there. As you see. Thank yeah, you. I'm sure that a lot of the guys would love for you to try one here. You look fabulous, huh? Thank you. Uh, next, meet Joe Gannon himself from Medical Center and the star of a new movie about aliens on the science fiction channel called Official Denial. Careful when you come out, Chad. Chad Everett! <laughs> Picked the wrong uh, day to give up smoking. Yeah, I you know. That stuff is bad for your health. It almost killed you. That's and it all tastes funny. There. Well, <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, we could be in the Inquirer. Now, you guys are both starring in science fiction things, but you also happen to believe in this stuff, huh? Yeah, I, I kind of do. I think um, it's kind of arrogant of us to think that we're the only beings in the universe. Well, I think that too, but have you ever seen anything? I kind of saw something once, and it was a very long time ago in England, and it, was, it looked like a big blimp in the sky. And you immediately say, oh, it's the moon, and then you look over and there's the moon, and you kind of, oh, it's not the moon, you know. Um, Were you drinking at the time? No. <laughs> no? No. I mean, do you know for sure that it was something weird in the sky? Well, the next day, there was a slew of phone calls, you know, to the local radio station and stuff like that and people saying they'd had sightings and yeah. encounters and things like that. So, you know, maybe it was. Well, what did they say? They never said that it was anything? No, they well, never said anything. Well, they, no, the, you know, the people never do. And, and, you know, you can read articles in magazines where they say that, um, you know, our government actually knows that we have been visited and they're keeping <coughs> it a secret. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to talk all about that okay. later. Now, have you actually seen something? Because you seem like such a normal person, Chad. Well, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. Actually, you know, I, I want to believe, but I don't. Well, actually, I don't want, I don't want to be visited by any of those little... Well, first of all, I agree with you. I, I, think, uh, um, I think it is uh, kind of um, uh, wrong for us to believe that 
maybe we are the, the, the end of the I the agree the with that. Here. There's got to be something uh, you know, there. Well, you know, uh, uh, Einstein uh, said about uh, the atoms, uh, that, that, that rail is made up of the same atoms as Nia is made up of. And uh, nobody believed him for a long time. And they finally, oh, yes, the relativity, yes, it's true. And he also said that uh, uh, we're in planes of light. So if we're in planes of light, then, we, then life wouldn't necessarily, and intelligence wouldn't necessarily have to be made up of uh, what we see as flesh and blood. It could be other, other forms of intelligence. Now, we shouldn't limit ourselves to just one form of intelligence. Shelby and Owen Orr and I, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, mid-60s, were sitting on my roof on a house I had Reedcrest. These are your kids? No, no. Uh, uh, Shelby's my wife, and oh, okay. uh, Owen Orr's a, a very dear friend. Okay. And, uh, but well, I'm just trying to make the point there were three of us. Yeah. And we were looking out. Uh, uh, from the Beverly Hills location over uh, Malibu, if, uh, face that way, we could see that way. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, at a distance which we measured to be about almost a yard by our arms, now how many miles that would be that far away from the beach? Lots. You know, lots, right? Yeah. We, we tracked a light that was going boom, 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 and you could track it. It was making turns like that. So <clears throat> we, we called. You know, we did the thing. We went, oh, I never saw any, nothing I know of moves like that. And we called, and we were told there were some helicopters on maneuvers, you know. Uh, no way. And, uh, and that, was, that was that. So there were some helicopters on maneuvers. I mean, uh, uh, it's easy uh, for... Um, but you, did, weren't you in the, were you, what, were you in the Coast Guard or something? Or? No, I was, in, I was in the Navy. But, uh, Navy? So but, you know what a helicopter looks like. 